I would give no thought of what the world might say of me if I could only transmit to posterity the reputation of an honest man. Now, the first time I ever met Governor Briscoe was down in New Valley. They said, you want to go over and meet Dolph Briscoe? He's going to be governor someday. So I thought to myself, who in the world from New Valley is ever going to be governor of Texas? Went over, shook hands with this guy. He was in khakis. The other two people were in suits. Turns out that the one in the khakis was Doc Briscoe. He's the man that owned the bank on the ranch. If you could program a computer to crank out the name of a great Texan, and I'm talking in its splendid history, uh, and you articulated that program of all the good and best things you would look for in a great leader, the first name that would come out of that computer is Governor Dolph Briscoe. His vision of implementing the farm to market road system changed agriculture and rural Texas forever in a very positive way. Uh, Texas farm to market roads are better than most other states' state highways. As the president of the Texas uh, 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 Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association, he led the fight against the screw worm, which uh, decimated the cattle industry. By getting rid of the screw worm, not only did it improve business in terms of cattle industry, it also allowed the creation of what we have today of the huge business of hunting. Just those two things, I suggest, put Dolph Prisco at the uh, head of the class of all of those governors. His philanthropy has, has been widespread. He's been generous to places like the Witte Museum in San Antonio. He's been extremely uh, generous to his home community of Uvalde. He's been a, a great contributor and donor to the University of Texas Health Science Center here, uh, in San Antonio. He's done the same thing with UT San Antonio. St. Mary's University, the Briscoe Western Art Museum, uh, so many things that he has touched just right here in San Antonio, and they're going to live way beyond him. I am not concerned so much about the honor of this great office as I am about the responsibility. Dolph Briscoe exemplifies the concept of giving back of leaving a community and a state a better place than it was when he found it. He's lived that his entire life. In many ways, his philanthropy has made him an innovator because the type of philanthropy in which he's been engaged has been aimed, a lot of it has been aimed at research, at supporting research, uh, particularly in the health field. You have to have education to lead to innovation. When I think about uh, his generous gift to the governor's mansion after it was struck by an arson. I see um, that same love of Texas, whether it's giving to Texas and Southwestern cattle raisers, whether it's giving to his beloved University of Texas. When you walk the halls of the University of Texas at Austin, you feel Governor Briscoe at your side because he has done so much you know, for our University of Texas system. There are people who have received things from Dolph Briscoe that never knew they came from Governor Briscoe. Uh, and that has been one of his other extraordinary ways of being a philanthropist in that silent, anonymous way uh, that only God knows about. I think he has a true love of the history of the state. He understands the importance of this state. He understood the importance of his role and the ability to step in and make a difference. When the only known photograph of the Alamo that was taken between 1836 and 1850 surfaced in Connecticut, but this was a very, very important photograph. Governor Briscoe stepped up to the plate, bought the photograph for us, and now it's here in Texas. I consider him one of the top historians of Texas history. There isn't a charity in San Antonio that hasn't benefited from him personally giving or personally giving of his time. Every square inch of Texas has had some positive influence from Governor Briscoe. When you go back and look at all the things that he's done, I think that maybe some of the things would have been done, but they wouldn't have been done when they were done. I mean, we would be, I guess one way to look at it is we'd be way behind because he was so forward 
uh, looking. This state would be a lesser place, our region would be a lesser place, San Antonio would be a lesser place. We wouldn't be as great as we are today without Governor Doc Briscoe. He's got shoes that are going to be impossible to fill. I don't think the ranching industry would have moved along as far as it did. You would see a number of projects that simply would not have happened. Texas would be missing a lot if Doc Briscoe had uh, been somewhere else other than in Texas. Young man, there are 40,000 voters in this district. Shake the hands and ask for the vote of over half of them. You might get elected. You know, I love Governor Briscoe. I think everybody that knows him loves Governor Briscoe. He's a role model and he has been my mentor. Both sides of this guy are the same. There's not a good side and a bad side. There's a good side and it's on both sides. And I remember I got a call from him and he said, John, do you remember in September of 1971, uh, you asked me to come out to Lubbock and give the Chamber of Commerce speech? I said, Governor, you got my vote. And that's the way he was. He, he kept meticulous records on five by seven cards, I guess in his desk in a little box. But uh, it was tough to get one up on Governor Briscoe and I'd give anything to have that box of cards. I've never seen the governor get upset about anything. I mean, he is always calm, and what you see is what you get. He's just a nice person. I've only seen Governor Briscoe upset with me once. <laughs> he invited me fishing to his ranch at the Katarina, and I was having such a great time, and after catching 10 bass, I felt really bad, and I started throwing them back. He goes, what's Sigaroa doing? He's throwing fish back. <laughs> he said, I gotta go talk to that man. He goes, you can't do that. That's for dinner. <laughs> He's a remarkable man. You cannot be a leader and ask other people to follow you unless you know how to follow too. He uses the term absolute integrity. And he only reserves that for a few people. But I've always thought, gosh, Governor, you know you're describing yourself. I would just have to say he's an honorable man, a man of great integrity, great character, a man of compassion. And it's a, a great comfort to know that there are people in Texas with his qualities and his character. Uh, I've been very lucky to get to know him. He's a wonderful man. From time to time, we, we say about other people, uh, they don't make them like that anymore. They don't make them like Dolph Briscoe anymore, and we will not likely see anybody like him in any of the rest of our lives. Well, a Pathfinder is, uh, you know, really defined as an individual who can forge a path to make the lives of others better. I believe that Governor Briscoe has done that every day of his life. A Pathfinder of unparalleled ability and integrity, and Texans should be forever grateful that he blessed our state. This is a great time to be alive and an even greater time to enjoy the privilege of being a Texan.